welcome to this channel uh, in this tutorial i'll take you through on how to send emails uh, using uh, jungle uh, sending bulk email using jungle and gmail okay so uh, this tutorial is for someone who has understand who understands or has a bit of experience in jungle and python so uh, I'll, I'll show you the demo of the final product the final product will look like this you can click here on compost the message so you can select the options in my case i have uh, three customers and uh, two are active while one is inactive so i can select the option to send the message to all my customers active customers and inactive customers uh, in this case i'll just send my message to all my customers then select then type in the text uh, for the subject in my case the text is uh, uh, test email dummy and then I, cop I, I type in the message that I want to send to my customers, then click on send. Once I click on send, the email will be sent to all my customers. And when I come to the, this customer's mailbox, you can see the email has been sent to this customer. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll take you through on how uh, I'll, I'll explain now the code. Okay. So, you need uh, to install Django. Uh, once you install Django, create an app uh, project. In this case, my project is called uh, Django Email. You can give your project whichever name that you like. Then after that, uh, you can come here. Uh, you need to add in uh, your email settings. You can see here, these are my email settings. I'm using my email. So we are using uh, our email host is smtp.gmail.com. Then I'm using my email. Then my password and and all other information port tls ssl and etc then uh, to create this password you cannot use uh, please note you cannot use the same password that you use to log into your email on the browser so you need to create a password for for this application to create this app uh, to create this password you need to go to your email you come here to your email then you click on google apps then account then security you scroll down here at to set up verification then you come here to app password you click on the app password then here you can be able to add a new application password so you select in the name that you want for example in my case i'll just call it Django. then you click on generate so i'll not generate any password because i already have one that is existing that i'm using so it will automatically generate a new password and now you can copy the password and use it in your uh, settings as your email password in my case i'll just delete make sure you use your own password i uh, do not use the password that i've shown because i've i'll delete the password after this tutorial okay then after you've added all that information you've added the password then now you create a new app called email app but you can call it whichever name that you like so i created another app called email app then i added the application to my installed applications here after that now we can start lighting in the functionalities of sending the email okay so first we created a model a uh, model here that hold the customer information it has the name the email and the status of the customer this is just a status to group the customers so in this case you can maybe based on the data that you have or based on the system that you are creating you can group your users in several categories so this one you can use it uh, to group or when you're sending a message uh, to send the messages based on the particular groups then after that you add in the model after the model we added the model to the admin so that i can be able to add the users and that's why you can be able to view the model here so i added the model to the admin okay after that after you finish with the model you come on views to create your functions to send the message okay so i have several functions here okay this is a function to send the message to all my customers okay with a hard-coded message this is the hard-coded message so i get all the customers then I loop over all the customers 
After, then I get the specific email for each and every customer. Then this is the hard coded message, the hard coded subject, then the context, the name, the customer, and uh, the message. Then I get the template. To get the template, you need to come here on your application, create a folder called template, then create another folder that has the name of the application. Then you add the template. This is my email template, HTML template. You can see it has the name and the message. And the name on the message is getting from the context. You can get here from the context to have name and the message. And then you send the message. So this email is going to be sent to all the customers uh, with a hard-coded message. And if we come back here, we come to my index. Index. And we can send a message to all our customers. When you click on that button, you send the message to all the customers. So the message that will be sent is we have new product. Check our website with the subject new product. So if you come to the inbox of this customer, you can see there's a message sent here called uh, with the subject new product. And this is a message we have new product. Check our website. Okay. Okay. So I have I created other two functions. One function is to create uh, to send the message to active customers, and the other one is to send to inactive customers. Okay. Then have a mess uh, another function here uh, to send a message a customized message to all the customers. So the user can determine the message, uh, the type of customers they want to send the message to, and the subject. In this case, I've created the, I've created this function. Uh, then the form. Uh, we need to create the form here. Uh, the form uh, gets the status, the message, and the subject. Then we added here a HTML form. This is a HTML form that gets the name, uh, the, the status, the subject, and the message. Then this it passes off. Then this function get that message, get the status, and get the subject. Then if the status is all. It gets the list. It's, uh, it gets all the customers. Else, it gets the customers based on the status provided by the cust by the user. Then uh, it loops over all the customers. I will get the specific email address of the customer. Then the context here is the name and the message. Then the template. Then we send the message to the customer. After we finished with the functions, we add them to the URL here, and then we add it to the main project URL. Okay. Then now we can, uh, once you are done with that, you can be able to send email. So for example, if now we want to send email, uh, we want to send email to all active customers. So we can see in our case, uh, test number three is not an active customer. It's an active customer. So we can try, let's try and send a message to all active customers and see whether three we receive the message so we'll come here we want to send to all active customers subject we want it to active and then we type in the message we send the message so we can see only user number three is inactive so we're expecting three two user three to receive so you can see the three uh user test three has received the message but if you go to user number three we expect not to receive the message and you can see they didn't receive the message okay thank you for watching uh if you have any question please comment if you want me to make any other video let me know in the comment and if you have any question uh, you can contact me i'll uh, add it on your comment then i'll respond thank you bye bye